What's up, traders? Matt from the Trade Brigade here doing a technical analysis on ticker symbol AHPI for Allied Healthcare. On the left hand side, we have the daily time frame, and on the right hand side, the 30 minute intraday time frame. Believe it or not, we have talked about this stock in the past back here when it was consolidating in kind of this range. Obviously, it just dribbled lower and it woke up on today's session, Friday the half day, with all of the sort of bad news, uh, you know, although it was good for the stock, bad news coming out of Africa with the sickness variant. If you uh, pick up on what I'm saying there. So zooming into the 30 minute because the daily, it's not really telling us much. I mean, obviously we have a massive gap up. We'll address that on the 30. We came just shy of this big shelf of resistance uh, and we're still above this kind of area of support right here. So not a whole lot to read into from the daily. So let's just take it uh, immediately to the 30 minute. Uh, what I would point out about the session is the fact that sure, nice drive higher out of the gates, but look at the pullback, right? It respected this area here, the 776, which was coming from prior lows here, prior highs here as well, prior highs here as well. It respected that, but more importantly, it's respecting the opening print of today's gap up. And that to me is very noteworthy. So uh, all things considered, this candle could have been a lot worse than it actually was. Don't get me wrong. This was some fairly aggressive selling activity into the end of day, um, but it's not as bad as it could have been, as I mentioned. So what we want to keep an eye on are these two levels. Quite simply put, where we found support basically at the open 775, if you like nice round numbers, and the low of day. As it sits right now, I will give credit where credit's due. The sellers did take it from the high if we could get a click and think or swim, come on platform. There we go down to the low. And I'm just dragging this off to the left so we can see. So from this move here, we never got back above the 38.2. So again, credit where credit is due. This is technically bearish consolidation. However, from the grand scheme of things, remember that we opened on a massive gap up. Anyone who was sort of caught holding the bag from in here, even in here, um, you know, these people were able to get out for uh, break even if not take some profits out of this name. So it's not unreasonable to me to see some sell side activity hit the stock and let the profit takers get out. Now it's just a question of, right, do we hold here or do the profit takers really hammer this thing back down into, you know, the gap filled territory? So let's talk about that scenario. Obviously the bearish consolidation happens here. I would not be looking for shorts. Let's actually see if we can even short this thing. Trade tab, uh, all products. There we go. So this is hard to borrow. And obviously there are no options on the options chain. So you're not actually going to short it. You're just going to stand aside and let this thing come down to wherever it's going to come down to. If we start taking out that 775. Sure, there could be a bounce off of low of day, but I would just would not, you know, I, I wouldn't advise, you know, looking for an entry there, noting that there's really a lot of room to fall if that gap fill does start to take place. And on something that would be trading sub 10, I mean, you don't want to be holding a stock long from 730, we'll call it for round number sake, down to about 550. I mean, in terms of percentage points, that's not a, not a good trade whatsoever. So I would not advise looking for longs if we start taking out 775. If we consolidate in here, again, it is technically bearish consolidation, but we're not actually breaking down. The trade in this one, in my estimation, would be if we can get back over nine. And the reason I say that is because that's kind of where we were getting this price acceptance. So I would expect, you know, choppy through here um, and then potentially, potentially a break up and over nine takes us into 10. And that's where this comes back into play from the daily. If we can clear this like huge area of, of resistance, that opens the door for higher. I'm not saying it will immediately come to 16, but there's really no structural element in that big spike that we need to be concerned with. I, I would sort of play it conservatively, right? And look for 1550, not those true highs, uh, but there's really nothing in here. Maybe this is kind of a zone and that's all unlocked with nine, getting back above price acceptance up here leads to some sort of bull flag, some sort of nice bullish consolidation from the daily up here. That is essentially how I see this unfolding. If it's going to unfold to the upside and don't get me wrong, the icing on the cake for this would be if we can see huge volume coming in on Monday as well, I would hate to say, you know, we would want to see more bad news, but this being in that sort of bio space, it may actually help the price, uh, you know, advance forward. So again, I would never wish that on anyone, but from a stock perspective, if news comes out over the weekend, maybe that does act as a catalyst. That's really going to wrap up the video. If you enjoyed it or learned anything new today, let me know in the comments section or by giving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget our main channel is linked in the description and all of that being said, I wish you a green trading week.